there is really no better energy than when it's Rangers, Astros, and their meaningful games as they are here tonight. The Astros want to come in here. They haven't been playing well, and neither have the Rangers, obviously. So both teams are looking to make a statement. There's your starter, Andrew Haney. As we mentioned, 109 and a third innings pitched. ERA slightly over four. Jose Altuve talked about all the good success he has had here through the years against the Rangers, and he's walked for a third consecutive game as the Astros' first hitter. He's a leadoff base runner here in this series. So Altuve aboard. He has 15 steals this year. And the first pitch to Alex Bregman is lifted out to center field. Tavares finds his way underneath it, though, for the first out of the ballgame. Jordan Alvarez, the designated hitter now. And he struck him out swinging. It's right over the heart of the plate with a slider. Alvarez strikes out two away. Huge strikeout for Heaney. Diaz in the cleanup spot, right handed hitter. That ball was hit hard into center. Laoti in into his right, reaches down and catches that low line drive just a little below the waist. To take care of Diaz for the final out. Here we are in Arlington and the Diesel. Hunter Brown is on the mound for your Houston Astros, making his 22nd start. Josh Smith now the leadoff hitter. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Diaz, and Smith down on strikes. So Brown eventually gets his man. They're just pumping fastballs. He's, he's wanting to set the tone early. So one out of nobody on for shortstop Corey Seeger. Seager lifts this one in the shallow left center field, racing in and running it down McCormick. And here's Marcus Simeon, who's 11 for 16 in his career off Hunter Brown, a 688 average. And a little tapper toward third. That could be a tough play. Coming in, Bregman is throw first, is wide, and it pulls Dubon off the bag. So Simeon is on with an infield hit. He's probably going to get on base against this Astros team. Once he steps into the box, the Astros might as well hand him the baseball and let him throw it wherever he wants it. So he's at first base with two out for Josh Young, right-handed hitting third baseman. And that's a ground ball right side to his left Altuve. Second baseman picks it up and throws to first in time to retire Young and in the inning. Astros nothing, Rangers nothing. Here's Bregman with two outs. Scoreless ball game, top of the third. Bregman drives one towards left field. Back goes Smith. He'll watch this one. This will go. Alex Bregman with a line drive home run to left. And the Astros out in front, one to nothing. It's August, and that means Bregman's going to get going. And he breaks the seal here in Arlington with a home run. There have been a couple of baseballs hit hard against Heaney. The Astros finally reap the dividends of bailing him up. Hunter Brown and the Astros lead one nothing, bottom of the third. Eighth place hitter, Laoti Tavares, their center fielder, will lead things off against Hunter Brown. This ball into play and left. Chaz coming on, diving attempt, and he makes another great catch. Chaz McCormick and left, rolling over after that dive. Great play by Chaz and Fizz. Started with getting a great jump, read that well off the bat. Was racing in with the crack of the bat. That gave him a shot to make that play. Corey Seager will lead it off. Bottom of the fourth, Astros up 1 0. Swing and a miss. High fastball, he got him. Second strikeout for Brown, one away. Here's Simeon, infield single his last time up. Gets the call, the top of the zone. Hunter Brown with back to back strikeouts, getting Seager and Simeon back to back. I'd say that Brown has settled in nicely, but he really has cruised through this ball game to this point. Gave up that infield single to Marcus Simeon, third batter of the ball game. But other than that, not a whole lot going for the Rangers. And Young hits it hard out to the alley in left center. That's down. That gets all the way to the wall. Young into second base, and he'll stop there with a two out double. Well, there's a first real good contact for a Rangers hitter tonight. Young's now 5 for 19 since his return from the IL. Here's Wyatt Langford. Got him. Strike three. Burned him on the low inside corner. A perfect pitch from Brown. And he strikes out three in the inning. That's four in the ball game. And it's now no balls and two strikes to Dubon. Heaney right back with the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Yeah, he went around. So says plate umpire Will Little. He tried to check. But the Dubon is out on strikes as his struggles at the plate continue. So two away here for the uh, Cuban native Pedro Leon. 3-2. And that's a call third strike on the inside corner. Fastball there from Heaney, who has retired seven in a row. Well, let's see if these Rangers get a little run support to Andrew Heaney. The Rangers have put just two men on base so far tonight. As the 3-2 here is low, ball four, and Nathaniel draws the leadoff walk. For Brown, that is the first walk that he has issued. 
low reaching here gives Texas just its third base runner tonight. And here comes Adolis Garcia. Hits this one hard out over short. That's a base hit. Low around second. He's going to try for third. The throw offline. Everybody safe. Garcia with a single. Has put Rangers on the corners. Nobody out here in the fifth inning. So huge spot now with Leody Tavares up there. And that's in the air left field. McCormick coming in makes the catch. Low tags. McCormick was fairly shallow. The throws way right offline. And Garcia, he'll head to third. He moved up on the deep fly ball and takes third on the error. And the Rangers have tied the game at one. Error will be charged to McCormick on the throw that allowed Garcia to get to third base. Infield will come in with one out for Carson Kelly. Ground ball softly hit to his left Pena. Looks Garcia back, throws to first in time. A big second out, and the infield can back up. Now it's Josh Smith's turn. And Smith pops it up, shallow center, backpedaling Pena, coming in Myers. Pena is under it, and he makes the one-handed grab to in the inning. But the Rangers tie it on Tavares' sack fly. What a night for Andrew Heaney. In a lot of ways, it's the same as every time he goes out there. If you want to look at it from the standpoint of the Rangers gave him one run of support. Rangers go to the bullpen for the first time tonight, and it'll be Jose LeClerc. There's a pitch, and it's outside. Not easy to walk Yiner Diaz, but he does. 17th time that Diaz has walked and he does it here to start the seventh only the White Sox bullpen has averaged more walks per nine innings than the Rangers bullpen more than four walks per nine innings on the season Here's Pena he's due two for his last 28 liner up the middle base hit there you go Jeremy first and second for the Astros on the base hit to center field from Jeremy Pena he's one for three the sacrifice goes one to three he runners at second and third now, and the Astros have Victor Caratini pinch hitting here. See what Bruce Bochy wants to do. So Leclerc is done, and the Rangers will go to the bullpen. Diaz at third, Pena at second in a 1 1 game. And now, here in the seventh inning, critical spot, the Rangers will go to the Sheriff, Andrew Chafin. This will be a good test for him. Way upstairs. Four pitch walk, and the Astros have loaded up the bases. Bases are filled for Mauricio Dubon. One out, base is filled in the 1-1 game. So Chafin needs one more to get a big strikeout here, the 1-2. And he got him. A strikeout of Dubon, the second out of the inning. The big pitch here from Chafin. Fans here would love a big out from Chafin right here. Big crowd, huge series. Bases loaded spot for Houston. Big strikeout, and the Rangers are able to get out of the jam. Bullpen's going to play a huge role in this one, and on that note, next in line for the Rangers is David Robertson. Altuve greets him with the line, single into left field. Jose Altuve with his 16th hit of the season against the Rangers in his 11th game against Texas. Greets David Robertson with a leadoff base hit. Alvarez is told to go down to first, so there's your intentional pass. And it brings up a guy who's probably the hottest hitter in this lineup for Houston now in Yiner Diaz. Delivers a 3 2. Alvarez takes off, and that pitch is just inside for ball four. But now the bases are loaded. And the Astros, once again, with the bases loaded, who's going to come through? And the Astros are hoping it's Jeremy Pena, who is one for three, standing in now. Ground ball slowly hits, should score the run. Two they safe. Everybody safe. Two to one Astros lead. Wasn't crushed, but we're going to take it. Jeremy putting that ball in play with two strikes, forcing the defense to make a play. Young had to come charging in quickly and couldn't make the exchange. In a big spot here, chance to open this one up for Houston. Bases loaded, two men out. The 3 2, swinging a miss. He throws him a cutter down the middle. Cabbage can't connect. And Robertson strikes him out to keep it a one run ball game. So, two quick outs, and they will all meet. Out on the mound now. And the reason they're meeting is because Corey Seeger's coming up. Well, Corey is a guy who can tie it with one swing, and Lord knows he's done it plenty of times. And that ball's hit well. Deep out to right. This game is tied. That's exactly why you don't throw Corey Seeger a pitch in the strike zone in a big situation. If you give him a chance, he will beat you. What a huge swing. Contact. Jordan Alvarez intentionally walked for the second straight plate appearance. So the Astros have two men on with one out for Yiner Diaz, who is 0 for 2 today. He's walked twice. 
oh. inside that almost hit him. Did that, that make him. contact with the bat? Yes, it did. Yiner Diaz points to the dugout. No, they're going to say that hit him. Yep. They're going to say that hit Yiner. He checked his swing. They're going to say that hit his hand and not the bat. So the bases are loaded with one out on the hit by pitch of Yiner. Altuve, the automatic runner, goes to third. He represents the go-ahead run. Alvarez at second. Diaz at first for Jeremy Pena, who's two for four. Now he's hit by, a hit by pitch. Astros take a three to two lead on back to back hit by pitches. This game is wild. Kirby Yates, the all star, frustrated out there on the mound. We go to the bottom of the 10th. It's three to two, Houston. Hard fought battle here tonight by both these clubs. Both teams seeing these games as essential for their postseason hopes. Well, now a meeting with Smith. Coming up to hit here. He's been the guy with runners in scoring position for the Rangers. And the Rangers would love to see it because to this point tonight, they're 0 for 7 in those situations. And one. Smith should get something here. And he does. And he blasts it. Deep out to right. It is gone. And the Rangers pull a rabbit out of the hat. It ain't over till it's over. 4 3 Rangers in walk off fashion to take game one of a critical series with Houston.